Right now you're into Urban Mix. Make sure you stay in tune with the best. You are still watching Urban Mix. This is the most controversial person in town. When it comes to social media, when it comes to YouTube, in anything that you want to talk about, Ghana, this is the man. You know the man I'm talking about. He go by the name. He's going to introduce himself. He has his name. I don't want to just mess it up for him. First of all, welcome to Urban Mix. Viewers on Urban Mix, I know your followers and all the people are watching us. They want to know, who am I talking to? I'm uh, talking to Evangelist Ade. Evangelist Ade. But so far, people call you Evangelist Ade, but you've never preached any word from the Bible or any gospel from the Bible. Why are you calling yourself Evangelist? Yeah, you know, there are different types of calling. So I'm saying, and, you know, I've been talking about the Bible for some time now. And at some point, I have to talk about, you know, experiences. And at some point, I have to, you know, let the people of Ghana know what is going on, actually. So, as an evangelist, I don't only focus on the Bible. I focus on life experiences and how to build ourselves. You see what I'm trying to say? So, it's a mixture of everything. All right, so the beginning and the understanding of people thinking that every evangelist has to be preaching the word, he's saying that no. He preaches about life, experiences, and everything. But evangelists, we will not be seeing you on the stage. Today we saw you on the stage with Nachi Palago doing scales and all that. People don't know you for, for somebody to be like on the stage like that. What happened today for you to see you on the stage doing Azonto, doing moves and all that? Yeah, you know, people think I have a grudge with him. And I, I'm, I'm just trying to prove with, to them that, you know, he's my brother. He, he told me, Ade, let's go. And I said, why not? And then I was there, you know, I have to, we have to support each other. You know, that is the beauty of it. So your followers and your viewers that believe that, okay, all these people are doing 666, they are doing bad things, they are doing... Uh, 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 what they are doing is antichrist and all that because you've been talking about people doing music they are all Satan servants and all that and now they will see you dancing with him on the stage what are they going to think about you your followers are you not going to are they not going to feel like you've de you, you, you deceived them because you are talking about these musicians following the, the devil and doing all this stuff and now you're following them on the stage. How are they going to feel about you when you say something about musicians in Ghana anyway? You know, um, first of all, I'm not deceiving anybody. If I, if, I'm, if I think I'm deceiving them, I'm probably deceiving myself. You see what I'm trying to say? And like I said, you have to lift people up. And you don't have to be hypocrite too. Everybody listen to Ghana music. We have different variety. We have varieties of music, different types of music in Ghana. And you know you cannot do anything with that music. In the Bible, all the great people with music. The Book of Psalms is, is you know it's all about music and the life experiences. And it's one of the you know the greatest book or the longest. It's about 150 chapters, right? So I'm trying to say. It shows the you know the the, the 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 merits of music in our life or the impacts of music on our lives. You see what I'm trying to say? I have no grudge with anybody. I love all my brothers and sisters, but previously, you know, I've not been part of this. I can do anything. Me, you know, as you saw it today, I can do anything. I'm not restricted, you know, I can do anything. But sometimes some activities, you know, restrict me from doing what I'm supposed to do because I'm also serving others, so I'm saying. But this particular occasion, I decided to show up. And everybody here, I have brothers and sisters. We cannot fight. At the end of the day, we, the day, we want the best for our country, Ghana. So if you, if you don't even agree with somebody, you don't have to fight. We have to, we, we have to find some ways and means to come to a conclusion or a point. You see what I'm trying to say? But so why do you make it so hard to the extent that 
You even go to the extent of advising people to meet musicians, beat them up, meet politicians and beat them up. Because when I saw you here, I thought people were going to gang up and beat you. But people are taking pictures with you, having fun with you. Are you not sending them a wrong signal? Because you are here, out here, United States, chilling, having a good time on the stage with Achipalago and our people. But you're telling your, your followers in Ghana that, oh, these musicians are killing people, they are doing rituals and all that, so when you meet them, beat them. What do, you, what, do you, what, what do you think you are telling them to do in the first place? Every teacher knows how to teach. That's why they're a teacher. And experience is the best teacher. And I teach from experience, and I teach from reality, and above all, it's love. Above all, it's unity, it's strength. So I'm trying to say, I've, be, I've been speaking with most of them, and they know me. Sometimes people call me and be like, ah, why are you doing program with um, these people? High Life Radio, and you know, PK and all of that. And they are my brothers. Even if they are the bad, you know, the Bible says, if you love your enemies, they are not my enemies now, they are my brothers. Sometimes I might not agree with them. You know how we are doing the award. Palago didn't agree at some point, you know. We might not agree, but that does not mean you have to, you know, pick grudges. So I'm trying to say, yeah. But you still didn't answer my question. I said, you are here having fun mm -hmm. with all these people you say bad stuff about, you pick grudges about, but you're still here having fun. But why would you advise your followers to tell them to beat people when they see them to crush them when they see them because they are doing rituals, they are doing the devil's work and all that. Why do you tell them those things? No, you know, some people pretend to be my followers, but they are not. I know what is going on on the media, so I'm trying to say, all my followers, I tell them, do unto others as you want them to do unto you, and be justice. If there is in Ghana and something is not going on right in Ghana, you know what to do. If I am here in the United States, and I know something is wrong, or something is not going on well, I know what to do. That's what I tell them. It's a matter of applying your common sense, or your natural wisdom. So you have the moment of truth and natural wisdom, or common sense. Common sense family is also there. You see what I'm trying to say? Are you part of common sense family? Um, I'm, 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 you, said, you said they are also doing something, for the same sex, they are doing something wrong. So are you also part of them? No, we are all together. Okay, finally, he says that he himself and the Common Sense family are all together. So there's no deviation, there's no differences. Do, if you say that. I do 666. You not do 666? I do 666. Why do you not do 666? I do 666. I do 666. They all know that I'm a Freemason. So all this while that you've been talking about Freemason people and all that, they should beat them, President Kofo and all that. When did you join Six 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 and when did you join Freemason? You cannot be, I'm not going to talk more about that, but you cannot be a teacher if you, if you have not been a student before. You cannot teach physics if you've never been in physics class before. You see what I'm trying to say? You're right. So you are officially telling our viewers back home in Ghana, back home in Africa, wherever that, you are officially part of the Freemason group. So your followers should now know that anytime you're talking about the Freemason, you are part of it. Because you're saying you cannot be a teacher if you don't know the class that you are teaching. Right. So it means you are officially announcing it on Urban Mix right Every now. Every teacher, experience is the best teacher. All teachers teach from experience. So you are saying officially you are a Freemason and you don't find any difficult doing 666. Right. I'm, I do say 666. Okay, so everybody out there that you've been following his teachings, he has already announced it that he's officially part of the Sexes group and he's officially part of the Illuminati group and he's a Freemason. I know you people are afraid of Sexes. When I tell somebody, say they are afraid. But I mean, I love Sexes. Me, I love Sexes. Are those people following Sexes? I don't know going to hell. We will talk bed. more about that. Hell. This is a condition. You listen to Abraham Ben Moshe okay. and listen to Jonas. Okay. Jonas is the man of the moment. Listen to Jonas. Hell, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? Hell is a condition of the mind. 
All right, we're going to leave him right here. And on Urban Mix officially, he says that he's a Freemason. So anytime you hear anything about the Freemason, the 666, the Illuminati, he is part of it. And right now, he officially announces. See you on the flip side. Right now, you're into Urban Mix. Make sure you stay in tune with the best.